Morning everybody, <clears throat> how are we? It's a Monday, nice and early, 7.30 on the nose, on our way to work. It's currently 16 degrees, the sun is out, looks like it's going to be a nice day. Uh, hope you had a good weekend, I didn't get up to much, watched the Formula One yesterday. Um, it's such a shame Lewis won. I don't really like him as a driver, I don't really like him as a person. <clears throat> I think he's very two-faced. Um, but I had a very relaxed weekend, didn't really get up to much. Saw the grandparents, hung out with the kids and the wife, just chilled out, it was great. Uh, but today we've got um, Joe and his Audi TT coming in first thing, may already be there actually. Uh, we're removing the Pioneer from there, he's got a double din in there, big fascia kit, um, cameras, taking all that out. I've teased him for many, many years about uh, um, the fact that he drives a TT and it's a hairdresser's car. So we said he was going to sell it and buy something more manly. So I asked him if he was going to buy an Audi R8 V10 Plus, which he laughed at. No laughing matter. I'm sure Sheepy could sort out a race tune for him. Big up Sheepy. Um, but yeah, so we'll see what he comes back with. I've, I've moved his radios and cameras around a few of his cars now, so we'll see what, what's next. Maybe a Porsche, maybe a TT is what he ends up with. Um, and then this afternoon I've got Oliver coming back in with his VW Touareg. Um, He's got a camera issue, so we fitted a camera into it. Um, he bought one of these uh, like Chinesey Joy Auto interfaces, which I'm not a lover of, if I'm honest. They're very clunky, very slow, very cumbersome, very frustrating. But it was the only option available for his car. Um, and we put on a in-car tech camera, a reverse camera for him. But the camera seems to have failed, so uh, again, quite a bad failure rate with their products at the minute, which I'm not liking. So we will be taking the car in, having a look at it, seeing what's broken, um, and then probably ordering him a new camera and getting that fitted so that you can see what's behind him again, because I think the screen at the minute is completely fogged up, um, and it's a bit, you know, a bit tough to reverse. And it's, it's maybe coming up to six, seven months old since we did the camera. And that's not long enough. That's, um, that's a warranty issue. We won't be having that. My, my customers get looked after. I'm not having things that last two minutes and then fail. So they'll be swapping that out as well. Uh, but other than that, it's gonna be probably a fairly relaxed day. Um, we're still gaining slowly, slowly on the subscribers. Thank you everyone that give me support. Um, and the 69% who watch me and don't follow me, come on, get with it. Time to, time to subscribe. You can watch me every day, look. Or in Furry's case, you can watch me when you go to bed. I'm not sure how wrong that is, dude, to be honest. Bedtime viewing with Alex, that just sounds a bit creepy. 
but we'll talk in a bit when I get to work. Oh, right, that concludes my sack. All oh. pot noodles are vegetarian. And we got Joe's car in. Here's TT. And this is the Pioneer system that we put in it a little while ago. Full fascia kit. <laughs> Dope logo. Obviously steering controls and everything are working on this one. Use the volume Alex, that'll help. There we go. Regularly format memory card for data integrity. So we're taking out the camera and the pioneer, putting in the standard unit. Um he's gonna sell the car. Look at the BS on this that he had some paint shop do some repair work. Nice line in the paint, can you see that? There's not enough paint on it, it's very matte. We've got more runs here. And look at this for a mask in line, that's quite nice, isn't it? You see that? <laughs> that's that's a uh, look at the shit in there. I have to discount the price on this one, Joe. That looks terrible. Oh, that's what you get for dodgy shops, see? Eh? Bad paint. Not good. So there we go, Joe's TT's done. We've got all the Pioneer fascia kit and everything else out of it, the wires for the cable, cameras are gone. The sub kicker HS10, no, HS8 from under the seats so that's out. And we've gone back in with a factory radio. So this can go back to being sold with his little hairdressing mods. <coughs> I love you, Joe, really, honestly. <clears throat> Sup, my lovelies? It's end of day. Just getting ready to pack up and go home. Um, oh, what a busy one. Lots of stuff in and out, which is always good. Um, I had a call today. Snap on Tuesday tomorrow. Uh, I had a call today from Mike. I've got a delivery date for my box. So we need to get me up to a thousand so I can drop this snap on video. And you're gonna love it because I've got a plan. Um, what we're gonna do is my snap on box currently, we're gonna take everything out of it. I'm gonna clean everything. We're gonna get all the lighting out of it, all the neons and everything else. We're gonna get all the tools laid out on the floor. Every single thing of snap on that I have ready to go in the two boxes. So not only will we have the delivery box coming in, we'll have these two put together, the lighting done internally, the neons underneath. We'll go through the box. Because I have a delivery date, I'm guessing Mike has already checked over the box and he's happy with it. And then we're gonna, with my tools on the floor, so you can see how much kit there is in one of these epics. Um, we're gonna go through all my kit going to be like a new toolbox tour with the Mr. Epic and the new one, the custom one with the uh, with the power drawer and the bit drawer with all the little sections in it. We're going to have it all out laid out so you can see how much kits there which would be quite cool but it's going to be a proper proper big mental snap on video but I'm not dropping it until I get to a thousand subscribers. So invite your mates, friends, work colleagues, fuck it, even tell your mum. Get on the YouTube channel, like, subscribe, get me to a thousand and we will have the biggest purple Mr. Epic with the power draw and all the new stuff in it and you're going to love it. I will see you tomorrow for Stap on Tuesday. Get sharing the vids, guys. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Goodbye. Hi guys. It's Tuesday morning. On our way to work. Ugh. 
18 degrees already. It'll be a warm one today, I think. Um, yeah, snap on Tuesday today. Jody's coming in. Uh, I had confirmation yesterday from snap on. Something is happening in a couple of weeks' time. Actually, what date are we on? Was backed up. There's a gear there somewhere. Right, it's the 14th today. We have 10 days. 10 days to get me to a thousand subscribers so I can drop the biggest purple epic video ever. Ever. It arrives on the 24th. With the power draw. With the bit draw. Brand new. Stripped down. Gonna do a full box talk, tool talk, box review, full tool review. We have it all laid out and cleaned on the floor while you break in the light is green. It's gonna be a biggie. Still breaking. I'm gonna go past you because you're annoying already and slightly frightening. <clears throat> um, it's gonna be a big video. We need to get to a thousand. So come on, snap on fans. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel so I can get a thousand people interested at least. We're going to do a big snap on toolbox reveal. It's going to be a big one. Um, other than that, I've got a Mercedes in first thing, it's already at the workshop. Uh, I think it's a CLC. We're putting in a CarPlay Android Auto screen, fascia kit, fiber optic retention, steering controls, all the good stuff, dab and Bluetooth. Um, and I think I've got some other bits this afternoon, I can't quite remember. But I'll touch base with you when I get to the uh, shop. See you soon. So the Mercedes CLK is done, it was a CLK, not a CLC. Uh, and now we've got this Range Rover in. A little Evoke. It's quite nice actually, it's got some red interior, some Meridian sound system. Sparkly gear knob we're putting in front of rear cameras for him so he's got protection when he's parked. Posh. Right, so first thing we've had to do now because this range has a bonded tailgate and by that all of this unit here is glued together so we're not getting the glass out and there's no way I'm being able to run cable down here because I'm not taking this apart so what we're going to do is I've made this Perspex clear plastic case just cut it, welded it, bent it, heated it, you know that kind of stuff and what it's going to do is it's going to clip onto the headliner here and it's going to give us a nice clean mount for the camera to sit underneath and then from there the rear camera will sit kind of like this and it will view out of the back window so it will give protection but it's not going to get in the way of obviously trying to stick onto the headliner but it's going to be on a nice plastic clip and then we should get some view out the back so that's the first job today let's see how she fits so there we go there's our reverse camera on our new plastic perspex clip and obviously with the tailgate shut There's our camera just there. Sweet.
we got the TT in next. This is having a new brake light because this one, the LEDs have failed in it. So we're going to change the brake light out in this one. I've also got to change the headlight in him. But unfortunately, this morning the guy managed to snap his bonnet catch. So I've also got to figure out a way to get into the bumper. Got to get into the bonnet and bumper without using the cable that runs through here. So I'm either going to have to get in through the wheel arch and yank the cable or somewhere down there. But he's managed to snap the catch. Not ideal, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> right then. We got the old headlight out of this one. We got our new one here. Let's hope the connections are the same. You never know with second hand parts. Pop that in there. Yeah. Plug him in. Check he's locked in. Right then. We gotta wiggle it in into its locating points which we've got one down there and one down there and then you just basically tighten the thing back down on top of those two points like that make sure the panel gaps are same kinda yeah and we get out our little bolt put them in there check out me one-handed this shit charge double for both arms tighten that one up and then this one up Side here. Get that lined up there. Am I in that hole? Am I in that hole? He says. Cue the piss taking. I think we are. And snap ons just turned up. Awesome. Awesome! The fuck truck. I'm all right, you? Yeah, good. Mike messaged me. Did he? Box is in on the 24th. Okay. Cool. So I'm, I'm guessing he's coming down. Are oh, you ledge? Thank you very right. much. Uh, old one is just there, okay. in in the gun. Oh yeah. New tools. How are you? Yeah, good mate. I did try rigging you on um, Saturday. Did you? I didn't. Yeah, I didn't want to. Chase, I was just I just bought an X5. Oh, okay. Um, if you wanted a bigger car, like it's only an 05 plate one. Well. Yeah. Um, Is your lady? Yes. Yep. I want um Apple Play and Apple. Ah. Car yes. Play. Yeah. 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 So, have you got Harman? Uh, I don't know what it is. Actually. The fuck was that? Oh, I was a leaf. I don't think so. T-Pain, chill with the auto-tune. Ah, right, snap on Tuesday, peeps. How are we? We good. Um, did I buy anything? No. Had a tool swapped because it got broken. Um, but we have got a couple of bits to talk about. There is a new flyer available. Um, so first page, we've got the diagnostics from the Apollo D8. 
Centre page, obviously it's the 100th anniversary, so you get free metal sign if you buy any one of these deals. So you've got a few options, let me get this side so we've not got glare. Um, air guns, knives, tape, don't buy this tape, it's not reliable. Um, flank drives, you've got three eighths, quarter, deep sockets, um, circlet pliers, punches, chisels, pry bars, adjustable pry bars, bearing pushing kit, uh, flexible um, fork, super hammer, air hammer, your chisels for the air hammer, your hammers and your different blows, deal on a fan, some toolboxes, and you've got Bagsy's Drift Sponsorship with a new box, a new Epic. Oh no, a Her Heritage and a Classic. Kind of cool. But also, we have something cool and new. This is a Pioneer FH S820 DAB. This is the new unit for the replacement. Let me go and grab it. I've got one over here. No, I haven't. For this one. So this is the Pioneer um, FHX840 DAB. This was kind of one of my popular double din stereos. If you don't want to do a touch screen, this has kind of been where I, I always direct people to. This radio does a lot of things, Bluetooth, digital radio, USB, auxiliary CD, fills up a double din slot. So if you've got like a camper van, a T5, cheap radios that go in. And this FH S820 DAB is the new version. So as you can see straight off the bat, we've got a couple of different options rather than one knob. We've got now three which is kind of cool. They've rounded off the edges. They've given it some kind of curvature. This has always been quite a square radio. The edges are quite hard, but this one you can kind of see that they've tailored off the edges a little bit. And that, I must say, does look pretty sweet. So I'm going to unpack one. Please hold caller. I'll try not to drop you. Let's get you set up. There we go. Right, let's get this little badge around done. We'll use the, um, this Pioneer here. So standard Pioneer lead, no features really changed on that one. Microphone comes in the box, instruction manual comes in the box. Obviously well packed with your polystyrene foam support and our little blanket and radio keys. Wow, look at that. Oh, Pioneer, you've listened to me. You have listened to me. That bloody awful sticker is not on the front of this radio. Hallelujah, thank you very much. So we'll just pull this little thing off here. Cool, look at that. That looks nice, doesn't it? Right, let's give it some... Oh, we might have to move that bottom radio out of the way. Too much, uh, too much height. Right, okay. Get the power. Go on the back. Actually, while that's um, just coming into life, we're just going to go to the back of it and we're just going to discuss what's on here. So, as normal, power plug, standard Pioneer with a fuse in the side, FM aerial, digital aerial. You've got your microphone and your wired remote. And then you've got your front, rear, and your sub RCA outputs or phonos, whichever you prefer. Coming to the front of the unit, we've got the big button, which is like our controller. So we're going to select English language, and then it gives us the option to go on to times. So obviously you can turn this backwards and forwards to go forward through the times. So we'll just press yes. 
Yes. FM step, so you can set your EQ of where you want it to be. DAB power. Speaker mode. Standard, yes, yes, yes. Now, if there was a digital aerial connected, this would now be searching for a DAB signal, but we don't have one connected. So we're just going straight into the CD. So all the features, other than the button layout, seems a bit different. Obviously we've got DAB and we've got our sources here, the display, everything else seems kind of like it should work exactly the same as the other one. Yes, it does. So we've got different colored illuminations phone brightness dimmer yeah so we've got phone illumination effects let's see what happens here illumination yeah so we've got this it's, it's very there's a few little touches from the old unit to the new unit um but i love in the uh i'm loving the rounded off edges i do like that and that's a really posh looking radio with the three buttons in the middle and you've got your pioneer app control as well USB radio stations one to three and four to six on one side and then obviously you reject at the top that's a really cool looking unit I do like that there's some nice little touches on there they've kind of gone a bit bigger and better with the buttons other than these ones that's pretty awesome that's a good unit I can see myself selling lots of these system menu clock set tones display yeah, functions. Yeah. EQ settings, subwoofers, crossovers, position, deep bass, now. Yeah, we got quite a lot on there. Normal, normal stuff, but it does look a bit fresh, a bit new. So the faceplate has had a reworking. And compared to the other one, that's a nice look. I like that. We shall be selling those by the plenty, I would imagine. Um, but that's it for the today. Uh, snap on Tuesday, done and dusted. Let's get up to that thousand subscribers, people. 24th, we've got a date. The box is coming. We're going to do a big snap on uh, video of it. A, arriving. B, getting the two fixed together. We're going to clean out this one. Empty all the tools out of it. Every single tool from Snap-on I own is going to be on the floor. We're going to spread them out so you can see what full kit I have. Get the two boxes together, get them illuminated, get them powered, fix it, tools back in it, arrange everything. We're going to do a big video, but I'm not loading it until we get to a thousand. So come on, share me, subscribe. That's 69% that follow me that watch my videos, that don't actually subscribe. Come on, help a brother out, let's get there. But uh, Tuesday done, I will see you tomorrow for Wednesday. Um, we've got some kicker install in tomorrow into a Focus, having a head unit, fascia kit, um, a sub and amp, one of the downward firing tens. Um, so we'll touch base when I get that in tomorrow. So thanks for watching, I'll see you tomorrow guys. Take care.